<coughs> What's up, folks? Blaster Dark here. We're gonna just have a random game of Dueling Network Yu Gi for a change since it's slightly different. Uh, it must be about the fifth. It must be about the fifth time we've gone on, and there we go. We finally get a go. And I'm scissors, and I think I'll go first there. Playing against Big Nation, one of the admins from um, some a wrestling news website that uh, for a wrestling news website that I frequent, oh uh, a Facebook group, sorry, a uh, Facebook page. So just gonna set those, and there we go. He's also recording it for his channel, this video for his channel. So I will get a link off of him to. I'll put it in the description so you can see this from his point of view as well. Um, so we'll just see how this goes. So what I do is first off, I'm going to go sacrifice this witch of the black forest for a Caius the Shadow Monarch of Team Two. Oh no, he's banished it. The effect still goes off. But I'll get to use the effect of which. And yeah, I'm realizing that I've misspelled which there. Uh, but that's that's kind of a pain. Um do I want to get in my what do I want to get just now? I think I need to get uh, I think what we'll look for just now. I'm gonna put this into my hand. And I probably should have used that duster to get rid of the, 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 the bottomless. So what I'll do is I'll set one more card and uh, and my turn there. So we'll see how this goes. He's gonna set another card. Set of two cards, so I'll probably use the Harpy Duster in this next turn. Uh, he'll probably try and flip that to. Oh, he's going to discard. He's going to tribute his dragon for a tri tiger dragon. So I'm going to. Do that chain because that actually goes off of that. Oh, dark ripe. You just set that this turn. You not realizing that he's just set that. Maybe he didn't realize, he probably realized he just set that so he can't actually um, negate my pi order straight away. So, so, oh, yeah. So, yeah, he's realizing that he can't actually, so he's not going to get to destroy any of my cards just now, so. Um, just I'll just point out that he may draw one card. Yep, just realizing as I was typing it there. Uh, maybe there may be some lag. I don't know. Maybe some lag between mine and his. So I don't know. But we'll see how it goes. In any case, he'll play a type of the Tiger Dragon. Um, and I'll just activate my defense draw when he does that so that he but he's probably well aware of the fact that I've got these face down so he might not attack we'll certainly see oh what was that my color scheme just changed because I'm using too much resource but, I don't know, um, like I said, he's probably just taking his time because he's commentating on the match as well, so, 
Yep, he's saying one sec. There we go. Um, so, we'll just see how what he's planning on doing. He may have a card deck in this three cards in his hand that he can use to ditch some of my back row. Um, we don't know at the moment. It would be really good if he, good for him if he did. Bad for me, but good for him. Um, because obviously we, uh, you know that these are mirror force and defense draw. I want to get the draw. I want to get the draw off of this, um, so that I um, have more options on my next turn. Because I'm not going to use mirror force yet, obviously. So what we're going to do is I'm on the monster reborn the witch, and then sacrifice for Kuraz. Because then I'll get the witch effect as well. Um, and there we go. And I activate that. And I get to draw. That's perfect. Oh, that's actually better. Uh, next turn. Ooh, actually, yes, I think I have a plan here. So what I do is, what does Zayborg do? Yeah. First off, activate those. We start bribe, and the Lance, that's really got to suck for him. Um, so what have we got? The moment I'm going to special summon this, then to to grave to normal summon that. Oh, that should have gone to grave before. That was my bad. Uh, yeah, and obviously by effect of there, I uh, I I I can choose to. So, and then I go into battle. Phase and attack directly with Zaborg. I still have that mirror force face down, so I think I'll end my turn there. Realizing that things look a bit different. Obviously, the pendulum zones are now in play on Dueling Network, it seems. Of course, pe pendulum monsters being a new new um new deal so things look a little bit different on on the game board what have we got you can't activate traps lance so i lose my thing and we just kamikaze you just kamikaze straight away fine by me you'll lose your wait wait what yeah So, yeah, so we both, nothing happens there, fine by me. Um, next turn for me is I'm going to try using Monster Reborn. Oh, what's he doing? Dark Prime, okay. Grave. But I get to draw. So he's using bribes. Uh, but I think I've got. Yes, yes, I do. Banish and banish. Special signal attack. Can you do anything about that? I don't think he can because he's been really good with his with his with his responses so far with that dark bribe and such. So I think I'll just go for a, a direct attack for three thousand, and that's half all damage he takes. Uh, okay. Fair enough. And that's me just going to end turn. I forgot to set my solo morning, but it's all right. I don't mind that. He's got to top deck something 
rather spectacular in this turn to to pull off a win. Um, MST, he'll just destroy my mirror force, but I'm okay with that because he's not got any other option. Uh, if I draw something with 1100 or more attack points, I automatically win this, this game. So we'll see what the game plays. He's out of options. Because I just need to pick, pick at him now. Um, because I think he's probably realising now, he's probably realised at this point that even if I don't attack with, in this um, return to hand, because now he doesn't get to draw. You skip your draw. So, and as such, he's admitted defeat because he knows he's got nothing in his hand, field, and I've got Yata, and I'll just pick away at him. So that's 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 what this deck's supposed to do. The idea is to just chip away. It 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 really ended up good for me. Um, that, um, yeah, that, uh, he ended up depleting his resources naturally, um, that, um, yeah, he, because I, I could have Emperor Dragoned in the end anyway, um, but, yeah, he, he ended up wiping himself out um, with his resources, and I think my buy order of the Emperor knocking out his Tiger Dragon skill early game didn't do him any favours. Um, it's very handy. I actually only use that for extra draws for things like Kuraz and Caius. If, if, Caius, if Caius can't designate a target, I like using buy order of the Emperor to get a free draw. Um, so definitely very good. I'll accept that rematch offer. We'll make this two out of three. Why not? Eh. Exciting. Um. What do I have? Um. He didn't do much specialing. Dark world dealings isn't that necessary against um. Double summon maybe I might side out a double summon for something but no I think I'm good um, I think I'm done siding and he's gonna get to decide who goes first this time so we're just gonna make this two um, and he'll get he'll decide and we'll see see you might go if he goes first we'll see see how that um, makes any difference to how this game goes see if things work there's a giant germ off the bat um, I like Foolish Burial being in there, I like Hidden Armory being there. Um, somebody messaged me at the moment, but definitely, definitely, Axe Dragon is a nice thing to. It's is fine. Okay. Um, so, what I'm going to do is. Activate Foolish Burial. View deck, and I'm going to put Kuraz straight into the bin. Right. I'm also going to act. Then that's going to grab that. Hidden Armory. Activate. Mill. I lose a giant germ. Giant germ is possibly the best case scenario losing card, that card when Dandelion's already there, because giant germ going to the bin doesn't really do much in 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 the way of cause me any problems. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, it is a deck. Yes, I can check my deck. 
it's a deck checker. So what I'm going to do is I am going straight for the premature burial to hand. I pay my 800 and I bring you straight back and because this one if it goes off I lose those straight away that's okay because I can't attack this turn and because I haven't normal summoned yet um, I'll also set that he now has a twin barrel dragon what's he targeting Toss a coin twice. One. Heads. Both heads. What's he going to knock? So, grave for that. And by extension, grave for that. That's fine by me. Knock off a down the line. But I'll go like that. Next turn. My turn begins. I... Remove that to normal summon that and bam. And because that was dark, he also loses your thousand. This point out I think I think he's because he's recording I just give my hand remind him that he's got to banish that Toon Barrel Dragon and because it was dark he loses his one thousand points. And then I just go into my battle phase and attack him directly. And then I'll just go straight ahead and end my turn there. So this time he's got a lot of re a fair few resources that he can possibly use, but pulling something twenty four, he's got another twin barrel. So he's gonna have to be, he's gonna have to have a lot of coin flats. There we go. He's probably not gonna bother with his second coin. He's gonna go probably go for that other token. Yeah, remove. Um, and then I'll just. Next turn my go is I'll set that. I'll set that battle phase. Attack the barrel dragon. Honest. Just remind him honest only works on light. Honest only works on lights. Uh, he's just losing it. I, I mean, I don't blame him for losing it. He is, he is, he's, he is trying to record a video himself and and that. So, uh, I mean, so he's probably not realizing the things that he's doing. He's probably just acting on impulse, and I don't blame him for that. I mean, everyone makes mistakes. And he is admitting those mistakes straight away. So, good on him. I don't mind that at all. And I'll end my turn there. But still, he's going to have six cards in his hand. Just um, noticing he's playing with a 50 card deck there. Um, compared to my 40, solid 40 card deck there. Uh, he's dark armed. He does indeed have exactly three darks in the pen. I'm going to do that.
came on 2000. Negate because I don't want him to get the dad out um, at this point. So definitely, definitely, definitely leaving him with very, very few options at this stage in the game. I think what I'm going to do here is dust her that, just get rid of it. I don't like that at all. Half all damage he takes this turn. Okay, so then I'm going to flip and um, to attack and I'm going to target that. I'm going to then mill one, lose my Chaos Emperor, that's okay at this stage I don't think I have much need for it. I've lost three cards there. Um, I can't win this turn because he used his thing so I'll only take 13. An odd number. Yeah. I was reminded we used this trap. Um, I'll, I'll, I think if, if he wanted to use his, his trap card there, um, I think he, he did activate his trap card, so I'm going to suggest maybe he used his trap, so, yeah. And he loses 13, um, because I'm going to let him get that, because, again... I'm just going to set a trap and end because obviously I've left Raiko sitting there with 200 attack points and anything can get over that really. Um, unless he plays full on defensive because he knows he's, yeah, oh, well, that's unfortunate that he felt even there, but, um, yeah, but... That's that. That's I mean. That's what this monarch chaos deck does. It summons monarchs, and then it summons the chaos boys, um, emperor dragon and uh, black luster, uh, just to bring out Yatta and then force the lock. Um, I did build one deck that had about three different win conditions, but yeah. But, I mean, that's the deck, um, and I've had some fun playing against this. I do have fun playing traditional, I have to admit. Um, so, yeah, um, but that's all for this video, and hope you've enjoyed watching, and we'll see you guys later.